Wagwan people, Wagwan tea sippers, Wagwan me generals. How are you all doing in this summer heat? Woo! It is hot. It is hot. And it has, the heat has slowed us down a bit. But we have got some reeds. And we've got some new decks, okay? Currently preparing some new decks so we can gather those juicy, juicy, intuitive gems in the reeds. But I hope you are feeling good, looking good, and ready for a new pick a card reading. In today's pick a card reading, we are exploring what do they tell their friends. So we're going to have a look and see what's going on, okay? Wow. One. So get your tea, or you might just get have your water now. Something to keep you nice and cool, okay? And we'll see you on the other side. Wa guan. Let's get into it. Wa guan tarantee. Tea sippers. Wa guan tarantee. Tea sippers. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Super. Yeah. So we have pile one, pile two, and pile three. We are exploring what do they tell their friends. If you are new here, big up, big up yourselves every time to our subscribers. Big up, big up, big up, big up, big up every time. We like to do a little bogle dance. Yes. Okay. So, we are exploring what do they tell their friends, okay? What do they tell their friends? So, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Share, okay? And comment down below. Let us know what you are sipping on. Or if you just want to say hi, more than welcome. Love to engage with you all, okay? Come and join the intuitive family as well as by joining. We're also connecting with your energy so we can see what's going on. Well, let's gather those juicy, juicy, intuitive gems together. Now, the heat has slowed us down a bit. It's been very hot and it's been, been impacting on the, our technology and all of those things. But we are going to vibe. Okay, we might have a little bit of sweat here and there. But we're going to vibe and gather those juicy, juicy gems. So, there are three piles. Pile one, pile two or pile three. Go to that number that's calling you as we gather these juicy juicy gems okay now if you feel drawn to a particular number feel free to go to that number but what we like to do here because we're all about developing your intuition is going through the piles and taking what resonates okay take what resonates and leave we have to say it with power leave the rest Okay, it's all about empowering and strengthening your intuition so that you are become more confident in your trust in your intuition as well as using your discernment. Okay, so what we like to do before we begin is start with an opening. Okay, and the gratitude opening. Okay, so let's begin. Thank you, universe. Thank you, spirit guides. Thank you, guardian angels. Thank you, ancestors, for the messages we're about to receive in today's read. May the messages resonate with the collective so they can use these messages to strengthen their own intuition and to use their discernment every time. So, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. So, pile one, pile two, or pile three. Or if you want to go through all the piles, you are more than welcome. I hope you have a nice beverage of your choice, something that will keep you nice and cool and refreshed, okay? And we'll see you on the other side. Wa Guan. Wa Guan, people. Wa Guan, tea sippers. Wa Guan, me generals. So we're on pile one and we're exploring what do they tell their 
friends okay so if you are new here welcome welcome get nice and comfy okay as we gather those juicy juicy intuitive gems okay and to our subscribers big up big up big up big up big up every time much love to you all okay so if you haven't already please like and subscribe share and comment Come and join the Love and Light family at Wagwan Terran Tea. Now, Wagwan is Jamaican Pat One. It simply means what is going on, and that's what we're exploring today. Okay. So, let's have a look for Pile One. Let's see what's going on. Let's see Wagwan. And I hope you have a beverage of your choice. I'm currently just sipping on some water to stay nice and cool. Okay. So what do they tell their friends? We're going to start with the tarot. Let's have a look and see what the tarot wants you to know right now. Okay. Now, I just saw 111, okay, while recording. Okay. And we also are on pile one. So there could be a lot of messages here in regards to ones. Ones representing the energy of new beginnings. Okay. New starts. Fresh starts. Okay. What do they tell their friends? We have the one and only, the Empress here. Oy, 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 oy. So if you hear oy, 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 it's just a way of how I connect with those downloads, okay? It's also a Jamaican thing, okay? And I just incorporate it into the reads, okay? As you are gathering these reads from your favourite, <laughs> your favourite Jamaican auntie <laughs> or your favourite Jamaican British auntie whatever it is okay we're, we're, we're bringing that energy we're bringing that vibe in okay let's get back into the read now so with the empress the empress represents your energy collective tea sippers ooh la la this person sees you as someone very wholesome they see you in a very wholesome state they are attracted to your energy this person may have had visions of seeing you as their partner their their love interest someone that they would like to have a family with it feels like very much that what they are telling their friends is that they see you as this person that they would like to grow with okay the song by boris gardner i want to wake up with you is coming through it's like this person has, is visualizing seeing you in that state now this could be someone that you have you are currently in contact with whether it's a new love interest or it could also be someone where you are in this in there's like limited contact or there's been some there's some distance between you two okay let's have a look here we have the emperor this collective this is telling us this person sees you as a match this person sees you as a match with the emperor being here this person is seeing you as this is this is who they would like they want you to be by their side and look what we have here which is kind of telling us that there could be some no contact going on here because we have the two of swords in the reverse position this is kind of telling us someone wants to come out of this energy someone wants to come out of this it feels like there's there's a kind of like a stagnant energy going on between you two okay and with the knight of swords it's also telling us which is like you know the fast like the fastest action you know in the night so when it comes to the knight of the ones and the knight of swords they're usually like the more faster movement now in regards to it being in the reverse position this is kind of telling us that there is an energy here of very little movement when it comes to communication now it could also be give telling us that this person may want a reconciliation again it's kind of giving us this energy back to that one okay where we said sometimes with the with the pile numbers okay associated with the pile sometimes it can bring out that energy okay so with number one representing the energy of new starts new beginnings okay this could be telling us that this person is now seeing that you all along have been in a match 
perhaps this could be uh, it could be a soulmate connection it could be whether it's like a soulmate or a twin flame okay when we say twin flame meaning that this person and you are essentially one soul split into and both having to go and do their separate journeys now the idea that you might meet this person in your current lifetime okay and that the idea that you once both parties have done their work that they can return okay and become as whole okay so there could be it feels like there could be a very deep spiritual connection here a deep soul mate connection but it feels like there is definitely some kind of no contact especially because we see we're taking it to do tarot school segment at wagwan tarantee here but especially because we see the two of swords in this position and the knight of swords in this position okay but we have these two upright so there's a strong energy of this person is seeing you as an equal this person is seeing you as a match however there is definitely something going on here with lack of communication a lack of decision to come forward okay so what we're going to do now is pull out a jamaican proverb and have a look at what the jamaican proverb wants to give an additional clue or additional message regarding what's going on here so for the collective who chose power one can we have a message please what's going on here we have the empress the emperor the two of swords in reverse and the knight of swords in reverse what's going on here okay we have if you can't get the turkey you have to be satisfied with the john crow so if you can't get the turkey you have to be satisfied with the crow bird okay in the jamaican patwa style okay if you can't get the turkey you have to be satisfied with the john crow if you can't get the turkey you have to be satisfied with the john crow okay the john crow john crow okay now this essentially is telling us okay if you can't if you cannot get something you have to be satisfied with what you can receive right now now this is kind of telling us collective that this person could be telling their friends what the current situation is between you two but is trying to seek advice on how they should navigate coming towards you and it feels like they want to start small to avoid any issues or to avoid any big hoops big jumps especially if there has been some kind of like communication issue perhaps someone has not been someone has not come forward and made like a decision okay and maybe that has impacted the connection and this has resulted to this kind of not sure or where 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 you stand or where perhaps it could be a case of both parties not knowing where they stand and trying to be satisfied with what they currently have even if that could be maybe one working on themselves trying to put this connection on the back burner working on themselves perhaps you could be sensing their energy perhaps you could be feeling their energy okay so sometimes we don't always get what we want, but we have to be thankful for what we have so abundance can come to you. So this is telling us this person wants more. Some, there's someone here, collective, that you are dealing with that wants more with you. So we're going to give you that time to just let that person's name let that person's characteristics, the things that you you particularly are drawn to or attracted to, to come into the reading. So if you haven't already, come and join the Love and Light family. Okay, we like to just, you know, tune in and get your intuition into the reading as much as possible. Okay, let that person's name, let that person's 
their particular features, whether it's their body features, the type of things that they like, any habits, okay, come into the reading. Now, the messages that are coming through is that this person is really trying to save face. It feels like there could be also friends who are trying to find out, like, or family, like, what's going on here? Like, I thought the two of you were doing well. What's happened here? Now, it does feel like it could be someone who's new or someone who's been in separation or there's someone who's been in limited contact. And trying to trying to assess and navigate how they can come towards you, but it feels like it, this person wants to make things right. Now we are currently approaching that Mercury retrograde season. Now that Mer Mercury retrograde season has a tendency of want of someone wanting to return or um, speak or seek reconciliation okay and so just to be aware of aware of that okay so we're going to have a look at some no contact messages okay let's have a look feel drawn to have a look at these messages and see what is going on here for the collective okay and collective whoo let us know if it's hot where you are because it is hot child it is very hot okay so we're gonna have a quick shuffle let's see what's going on here let's see what's going on here Ooh, we've got some one we've got one we're gonna keep shuffling let's keep shuffling okay keep yeah so let's just keep shuffling so what do they tell their friends? What do they tell their friends? What do they tell their friends? But also, what's going on here in regards to no contact or any messages, any energy around how they're feeling that can help us to understand more of what's going on with the Two of Swords and the Knight of Swords. This person sees you as a match Reveal the messages the collective need to see right now. Okay, ooh, we got quite a few. We'll take that one as well. All right, last shuffle. Thank you. Oh, so we've got quite a few messages here, collective. So let's have a look and see what's here for you. Okay. If you haven't already, please click on that like button and subscribe. All right. So we have some messages here. We have, I know what we are spiritually. I know that. Let's rewind that. I know that we are spiritually connected. Didn't we say this earlier about this connection could have a deeper meaning? Again, it could be that soulmate connection that is really coming through. Now, um, some of these, their feelings for you deck is trying to come through. So we're going to have a look at those next as well. We have here, I think that you are better off without me. So there are some kind of, again, this could be exp helping us to understand why we see this energy here, okay? Of like someone wants to communicate with you, but there's like a stagnant energy going on here. I'm working on myself each day so I can come back to you. So this person, if let's say, for example, if you have been doing a lot of work on yourself, okay? This person is still in that time. I want to say time and error, okay, of doing the same, okay? And essentially, with the twin flame connection, okay, or even with a soulmate connection, both parties have to put in the work. And it feels like there is somebody, it feels like there could be someone who has been in separation with this person, knows that they have to do some, have to work on, it takes two it takes two okay so both parties have to come forward 
I know I was wrong by not talking to you. Would you be open to talking now? Look at this. Oy, 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 oy. Someone is definitely thinking, you know, and this this could be explained why we see the Knight of Swords and the Two of Swords because there is, it's like a missed opportunity and someone's realising the missed opportunity. Please give me a second chance. This is where number one comes in because it's this energy of someone wanting a new start, a new beginning, a possible reconciliation. I fear you will never forgive me. Could be how they, they feel some guilt around how maybe mistreating or not being honest with you when they should have been honest with you i'm lost i don't know what to do and this is what we can see with that two of swords okay and that knight of swords of this energy of like if you look carefully this person is like their eyes are guarded so they're already it's kind of like trusting your intuition now to help you to decide to decipher what is the right choice this person is now in this state of like ah maybe i go and make that choice and then as just as about as just when they're ready to go make that choice they then go and drop it okay i remember how we used to laugh and talk for hours about everything i miss you i fell in love the moment i saw you and look at this the moment they saw you this is who this is how you are coming forward when when it comes towards them this is how they're seeing you they're seeing you as the empress look at the ever green the ever abundant empress that is how this person sees you and it's and it's like they want to this person could be is this this could be the energy that they want to represent and they might not be truly there yet because the emperor is someone who steps steps up who is confident in their decision making but what we what we can see is that they are not quite there yet but that could be also the energy that they are trying to i want to say emulate the the energy that they want to put forward when they come and see you or oh la la we say come and see you or the next you know it, it feels like it's they want to show that energy now with the emperor and the empress there could be something to do with the inner child here there could be something to do with a father figure here okay or maybe uh, someone that they look up to a role model perhaps it could be someone that they're trying to strive and think you know what why can't i be like this person i want to be more like this person before i so i can come towards you with a serious offer I hope to have a future with you one day. I'm putting myself first right now. And perhaps this person may know that they have to put themselves first right now so that they can come towards you with a serious offer, with clarity, with the understanding of the connection and how the connection is a sp strong spiritual can perhaps you can sense this person's energy they can sense yours okay Ooh la la now we did have the feelings for you deck really trying to come through so we're going to have a look and see what wants to come through and we'll we'll, we'll end with we'll end here Ooh, it is hot let us know if it is hot where you are but it is hot so please stay hydrated as well we always like to stay dry hydrated in our reads because it allows the intuition to just flow and flow fluently okay so i really want to sing the shuffle baby song but we're just gonna we're just gonna word it today rather than sing it okay so the shuffle baby if you're not familiar with the shuffle baby song it goes shuffle baby shuffle baby yeah so we're just gonna sing we're just gonna just say it in a singy uh <laughs> or just say it 
okay and I just allow the messages to flow okay so we've got two already that popped out reveal the messages the collective need to see what do they tell their friends but more importantly what are the thoughts and feelings that are coming to mind when this person thinks of you okay what are the thoughts and feelings that come to mind when this person thinks of you we are channeling those thoughts and feelings of this person this person in your mind this person that has been thinking about you okay reveal those messages the collective need to see right now we're calling on your intuition okay let's channel it all together reveal those messages you need to see right now okay and we're gonna sing we're gonna say the shuffle baby okay shuffle baby shuffle baby oh you've got quite a few trying to come through shuffle baby shuffle baby shuffle baby shuffle baby let's see what comes through shuffle baby Ooh! shuffle baby yes shuffle baby Shuffle baby, yeah. Shuffle baby, yeah. Shuffle baby, yeah. Last shuffle. Thank you. All right. So there were quite a few messages really trying to come through today from their feelings for you, Dex. So we're going to take a big sip of our beverages, our water, our uh hydration okay what we're going to do to stay hydrated okay do let us know if it is hot it is very hot and it has kind of slowed down the readings for this week but we are gonna keep on going okay so we also want to reintroduce our collective readings because we've been a bit slow on the collective readings for a while as I was just focusing on the pick a card due to illness right so for oh forgive me collective I forgot to to say let's have our collective sip so let's have our collective sip Are you ready we're gonna have a collective sip whether it's your beverage okay um of your choice or water or tea let's take a sip together we're going to gather those messages let's see what wants to flow in to your read all right so let's have a look at these messages we've got quite a few messages that came through i can't stop thinking about you look at this you mean more to me than you'll ever know. I wish things were different between us. I'm haunted by the memories of us. You are the best thing that's ever happened to me. I still remember our first date like it was yesterday. Look at this. I still remember our first date like it was yesterday so somebody this person is looking whether it's your, this specific person is going through trying to remember all those significant dates like all those small details small details to big details remembering every little thing there's a message about something like either it could have been something significant maybe it could have been like an embarrassing moment between you two where you laughed it off okay something something if it feels like this person also did something very thoughtful on a particular date put it in the comments down below let us know Ooh la la okay i find it hard to let go of you i find it hard to let go of you now it feels like this could be someone that you may have known three months ago, okay, four years ago, three years ago, six years ago, seven years ago, and this person still thinks to, about you. They still, it could be that there's been no contact, 
this person is trying to wonder how to navigate. Perhaps it could have also been their own self-sabotaging that has resulted to no contact. And this person has regrets that it could have been a, a missed opportunity. They could be trying to also wonder, ponder, how can I go about this? Perhaps even waiting for you to make the first move just for that confirmation that maybe there is still a chance okay perhaps you may have blocked this person okay your voice is the sweetest melody to my ears i feel lost without you i cherished every moment we had together you're the one who makes my heart skip a beat I'm sorry for not realising your worth sooner. Perhaps this person took you for granted. Perhaps this person may have moved or acted like they had other options. But it feels like this person came to realise that you was the option that they was, a, was, was like the right match or the appropriate match or the match that they took for granted okay or not seeing the 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 evergreen abundant empress that you are you are the one thing i can't seem to let go of do you see that this energy keeps coming through that i can't seem to let go do i ever cross your mind this is what they wonder do you ever think about me do you ever think about me I can't help but regret my actions. I can't help but regret my actions. Do you ever think about us? Again, that's what they keep wondering. Do you ever think about us? I miss the sound of your laugh. I'm trying to be better for you. Now, this person we always ultimately say, that this person has to be better for themselves because by being better for themselves then they uplift their vibration so not only is it they're being better for themselves that energy is traveling that energy is opening doors to attract the same energy back i yearn for your touch so this person may also have, we're going to keep it clean and classy, okay? But they have a lot of sexual energy towards you. I want to be with you, but I'm scared. Um, and again, if there has been some, some time, some distance here, they could be scared of like how to navigate this situation. Should they move forward? What should they do? Again, it feels like they are trying to seek advice, seek counsel on how they should best navigate. You're the reason I want to become a better person. Again, as we say, you know, it's always about them wanting to be a better person for themselves so they can take that action, take that lead. Be that emperor, okay? Be that emperor so they can match the empress energy. You are the only one who understood me completely. I can't imagine my life without you. Every song I hear reminds me of you. I've been trying to move on, but it's not working. I think about you more often then I should. I wish we could start over. I wish we could start over. Again, that energy of the number one coming through. New beginnings, wanting new starts. Reconciliation. I long for the day when we can be together again. It's hard for me to imagine a life without you in it. So... We're going to leave you with a message, okay, from this new deck, okay, about 
what this person likes about you, how they view you. We just want to see what wants to come for you, comes through for you in terms of what do they tell their friends? What do they tell their friends? Reveal the messages that the collective need to see. What do they tell their friends? What do they tell their friends? What do they tell their friends? Oh, last shuffle. Thank you. We've got quite a few for you. So we're going to leave you with these messages. What do they tell their friends? Just a little, a little bit more into what they tell their friends. Every moment with her feels meaningful. Meaningful and profound. Ooh la la. She is someone, okay? Take it where it resonates. She is someone who values deep, meaningful connections over superficial ones. She's got this magnetic personality that draws people in. I admire her ambition and drive. She's going places. Her gentle touch and caring nature makes me feel truly loved. You, it's giving the Empress energy. Her eyes hold so many secrets. I want to know all of them. She has the incredible ability to make everyone feel special. Her ability to stay calm under pressure is something I truly, deeply admire. She's not just beautiful, she's got a heart of gold. I love how she un uh, how she's unapologetically herself. So this person that's coming through has a lot of feelings here. What we'll always say is trust your intuition and use your discernment every time. It does feel like it's somebody from like a strong energy of the past trying to come through. It does feel like it's somebody who wants to make amends but is not sure how. They could be just trying to wait, okay? But the message that's really coming through is to continue working on yourselves because the more you work on yourselves, okay, this, per this person will also sense that you are working and shifting your energy to focus on you. And this can then in effect make them want to take more action okay because what we can see is this person has this energy of i can't i can't seem to stop thinking about you so we're going to we're going to just have a quick look at this person's actions their actions towards you what are their next actions towards you before we close the read what are their next actions towards you oh we have the Page of Cups, and we have the Lovers, and the Magician. So, okay, we'll just read it anyhow, okay? We're not really focused on the upright or the reverse. Uh, essentially, we're just going to read what we see. Essentially, this person is still coming through like a Page of Cups. So, with the Page of Cups being here, this is the, like, the youngest energy. Now, this is still kind of an energy of like testing the waters when they're coming towards you. Because what we can see that they have a lot of feelings of wanting to return. But with the Page of Cups being here, it's this giving, still giving this energy of like a bit of a timid energy on how they should navigate with you. But what we see is the lover's energy. The lover's energy is telling us that there is a soulmate connection here. But ultimately with the lover there's also that person has to make a choice it's a, again two, it takes two to tango but they do want to manifest you in okay now if we read it now in the reverse position this could also be telling us that this person may are, are stuck in this energy of being hopeless like feeling a bit lost in how they should navigate it, how they should move towards you, wondering if you still have feelings for them, wondering if they should, 
it feels like the how they're talking could also be working against them at this time okay and this is why we always say be mindful of your words because your words are manifesting powers okay so here's a here's a here's a great tip if you've noticed that you said something that is is in alignment with what you actually want just say delete 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 and this is also for the cross watcher who might be watching this who's trying to manifest you or manifest someone from the collective okay delete 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 and just focus on what it is that you do want to attract and act as if you have it now it could be even saying something like i'm so thankful that i'm in a loving relationship with i'm so thankful that the relationship that i have with is loving abundant it's fruitful um, I, I, like it's full of laughter and joy okay talk like that okay rather than focusing on what you don't want and and then staying in this energy of feeling hopeless can we make things work can we do focus on what it is that you do want and act as if you have it already okay so we're going to leave it here on what do they tell their friends take the messages that resonate and leave we have to say it with power leave the rest i say it go i say it go darling i say it go i say it go is jamaican patwa and it simply means this is how it goes okay this is how it goes and so this is how it goes around here we're just taking what resonates and leave the rest okay but be sure to look good feel good okay tap on that like and subscribe button if you haven't done so already okay keep sipping and do have a look on pile two or pile three if you feel intuitively drawn to have a look okay we can already see that there's a theme of someone wanting to talk someone wanting to reconcile so there could be some more intuitive gems in the next piles but we'll see you on the next one and keep sipping all right wagwan wagwan people wagwan tea sippers wagwan generals so we're on pile two and we're exploring what do they tell their friends what do they tell their friends okay so if you are new here welcome 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 to wagwan tarantee wagwan simply means in jamaican patwa what is going on and that's what we're essentially doing okay we explore love readings okay at wagwan tarantee and that's what we're going to explore what is going on what do they tell their friends we want to see those deep undercurrent feelings okay and what's going on sometimes you know it's not what they're telling their friends it's also those hidden feelings so we're going to explore those hidden feelings and see what wants to come through okay so if you haven't already please like and subscribe okay click on that notification bell so you don't miss a beat round here and also come and join the love and light family as well as by subscribing you all we're also taking that chance to come together and let our intuition flow okay into the reads so let's gather those juicy juicy intuitive gems together and to our subscribers big up big up big up big up big up you done know the done know when it comes to our subscribers we want to give you much love and much appreciation so big up yourselves every time i hope you've got a nice cup of tea or a beverage of your choice okay or some water because it is hot let us know if it is hot where you are right now okay because it is hot and steamy and we're going to see some hot and steamy messages coming through so let's get straight into it and see what guan all right it has fallen on two so uh, piles like pile two so we're gonna see if there's any messages regarding two two was like choices faith trust decisions okay options we're just gonna have a look and see if any of those kind of things come in to the read or come into the reading okay 
So let's have a look. We have the five of wands. What do they tell their friends? Okay, we're just going to have a quick look at what the five of wands and the, the cards are telling us. So we're going to take it to our little segment, Tarot School at Wa Guan Tarot Tea. So with the five of wands, what do they tell their friends? This is kind of telling us that this person with the wands energy being here, they have a strong attraction energy for you. But it feels like what's coming through is like sometimes there's like a, a hit or miss with how this person connects with you. Sometimes it could also be wondering that like a compatibility issue but at the same time it's like they're drawn to you they're very attracted to you but it feels like both parties may have a different way of how they communicate love and it feels like it's a strong message about your love language how you navigate your love language could be very different so it's almost like uh, um, as what we can see like a, a tug and pull situation going on here but it feels like it can be very much rectified if both parties just have a conversation where you are both listening and you're both appreciating one another's okay again we have to always remember that as an individual okay just as an individual let's just focus on us just being an individual we all come from different walks of life, different experiences. What is common to you can be completely uncommon to somebody else. Now, with the five of wands, the five of wands can address a lot of these things. Because if we are not clear with how we see things, and then we, de we then may judge somebody else okay based on our standards but remember our standards could be completely different to somebody else's and this can then result to some kind of conflict energy some kind of disagreement energy and again it can be rectified by understanding that the person that you could be attracted to or the person that is attracted to you could be from a completely different background to you, can be, can be from a different walk of life from you, okay? Their, their childhood experience could have been very different. What they saw and witnessed as love could be very different. So then two individuals coming together, okay, coming from different walks of life, different experiences, different family setups, can create this kind of ripple um, can't, or tug, tug and pull, okay, trying to come and find that compromise, trying to find that balance, trying to find that alignment between two parties. And that can only come through communication, working together, okay? Not seeing one another like a comp competition. And it feels like there may have been this energy of, Who's going to put their guard down first? Who's going to show that softer side? You know, sometimes with the word being emotionally vulnerable can make someone feel like they're being weak in front of somebody. But it feels like here, this person really wanted to see, or it could have, this could have been you, or this could have been this other person, wanted to see what you, what, what you really care about what drives you however if it was both parties feeling like i'm not going to show that side of me just yet i'm an older person saying i'm not going to show that per side of me then it creates this again do you see this five of ones this tug and pull energy going on and if you look carefully there's lots of blossoms on those ones this is telling us that you know there's opportunity for growth here Perhaps this conversation of understanding one another and not coming from a a place of like, yeah, I hear that, but ah, uh, or but. Just listen. Just It feels like there's a strong, it's not wanting to be a lecture, but it feels like there's an, 
there's a message here about just listening and being open to listen before you respond not listening to so you can respond but listening so you can understand okay now if you hear that it's just a way of how i connect with those downloads it's also a very much a jamaican thing okay as a like a to wear as a kind of like an to show excitement um to kind of also show like why like when something is like like you you've added two and two together and it's like you realize you've you come to like a realization okay <laughs> we have the chariot look at this perhaps you could be we have fire and water with the chariot the chariot being that that strong cancer energy perhaps this person could be a cancer that you're doing with or a water sign or fire there could be a water or fire sign elements that we see so far again it could be any signs but we see this there's a strong energy of water and fire now this is very important you know why because think of think of the elements just alone water and fire what do they do they have an energy of being able to repel one another isn't it okay one can take one out the water can out the fire Okay, so it feels like there's an energy of say, that's coming through that saying perhaps there may have been some moments where it's been like very hot and cold moments coming through, hot and cold moments, but again through communication, through understanding one another, this could be rectified, okay? Now we have the moon, so we have that strong moon energy again, another water sign, another strong Pisces energy coming through. So it feels like, again, there may have been, with the moon being here, the moon can represent that energy. Let's, whoa, whoa, let, let's rewind a bit, let's go back to the chariot. The chariot can represent the energy of things come, moving, coming towards you, determination, okay? willpower all of those kind of things now we have the moon the moon can represent that energy of hidden feelings now didn't we say earlier that we're going to see if there's going to be some hidden feelings the moon is telling us that there is a strong energy of hidden feelings however if we look at the five of wands and the chariot this tells us that there is a lot of hidden feelings and perhaps both parties this could be you or this person. Sometimes your actions were driven by those hidden feelings or trying to guard or mask those hidden feelings. Now it's interesting how these all of these downloads are coming through. But it feels like what do they tell their friends? It feels like this person wants to confess that they haven't always been forthcoming with being honest, being transparent with their feelings it very it feels very much like if you see what's going on here we have two here okay do you see the two pillars here in the moon card do you also see the like the two here the like the two um buildings or castles here as well as like the two um what would you say it's kind of like a lion shape um, human like figure here but it's kind of telling us there's this strong energy even the the wings here and as well as that little red um stomp it's kind of telling us that there's a strong energy of like willpower determination duality balance here okay what is balanced on one side must be balanced on the other side okay this is essentially telling us that there is a lot of hidden thoughts and hidden feelings here and it feels like there are more feelings hidden that this person has for you however it feels very much like instead of coming forward and expressing and saying how they truly feel it was hidden it was very much hidden and it almost became like a game of like who's going to come forward Who's going to say how they truly feel? Who's going to 
let their guard down who's going to let their mask off um the song future is coming to mind okay mask off okay like who's going to release who's going to reveal that mask who's going to who's going to really come forward and say how they feel and it feels very much like even though we have that chariot the chariot here the chariot here feels like there was a strong willpower even though they want to come towards you a strong willpower to hold to stand firm again you see that's what we said about that stomp okay like to to stay still watching so it feels like there was a lot of watching a lot of movement in if if you know what i would not be surprised if we do some clarification and we see the page of swords because it feels very much like there was a, a lot of heavy energy of just watching okay let's 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 pull out a uh clarification card let's see what wants to come through what's going on here what do they tell their friends? But we see a lot of hidden feelings coming through. Any messages that the that you can clarify? Yes, we have the Hierophant. So the Hierophant is telling us that there is a lot of lessons here. A lot of lessons here. Okay. Again, this could be strong tourist energy. But it could also be the lessons that perhaps this connection, okay, that you've had with this person there was a lot of it could be karmic lessons it could be lessons that you needed to learn um or lessons to help this it could also be lessons where maybe both parties or this person had to recognize the need to open up the need to let their guard down the lead to if they if they're really about attracting and wanting what they really want They've got to be open to it, not get to the point where they're like, I'm, I want to be open. Because if you look at, if you look carefully at the chariot and right next to the moon, we have, again, major arcanas here. The chariot is the moving energy, a determination energy, but then it's next to the moon. So the moon is now in contrast with what's going on with the chariot, because it's now saying, well, I'm determined to do this, but then I'm not sure. Oh, I don't know what I should do. Oh, so this is a confused, it's a confusion energy that's going on here. Uh, very much a confusion energy. Now, it feels like with the Hierophant here, they could, this person could perhaps be seeking, maybe dating. Um, like, it could be that they could be looking at, like, online dating advice. Perhaps they could be trying to seek others who are knowledgeable who are who have who who might be able to give them advice or have experience in this field of like how to open up it could also be maybe they are trying to seek therapy or counseling recognizing their patterns of behavior and that it has hindered them in the past and hindered them with you okay any any other messages that want to come through? First, let's have a look and see what's at the front. That's actually, we have the Nine of Pentacles. So there's this energy of seeing you um, uh, and, you know, being that independent. We're going to keep it clean and classy, sexy and in, endure it. Like, in, um, it, it feels like very drawn to you. Okay. We have the sun. So the sun is definitely telling us that they are drawn to you, attracted to you, okay? There's also that inner child energy coming through, okay? Let's have a look and see what wants to come through the middle. The queen of pentacles. So this could be how they deeply see you. See you as someone who's very resourceful, very well put together. They admire that about you, okay? Can we have a bit more about the moon, please? Let's see what wants to come through. Let's see what that's. We have the Knight of. Look at this collective. We have the Hermit. So this is what looks what the Hermit's telling us. The Hermit is telling us, and there's a strong energy of nine coming through, a sense of independence, a sense of like awakening. There could. It feels like there's a strong spiritual awakening energy here. Someone's coming to a realization that they need to change, change 
change so that it's not hindering them from attracting what they want being open to love and expressing how they feel and not feeling no way about it with the knight of cups okay not feeling in any way about whining and dining you okay serenading you standing firm with the emperor being here standing firm taking on that role of the emperor now do you have a look at pile one because there was a strong emperor energy coming through as well in the read okay and we have look at this the queen of cups in the reverse okay now perhaps there could be an age gap here perhaps this person could be operating um in a younger or is trying to attract you okay but with the queen of cups as well in this energy okay let's start here the queen of cups can represent the energy of someone who's nurturing someone who's loving someone who's caring okay but in the opposite if you see what's going on i don't know if anybody's watched get out the film get out and there was um the mother who was like staring the teacup okay it is it it's kind of giving this energy in the reverse okay like someone who's can be manipulative trying to play chess moves okay perhaps this is what was going on in terms of not being able to see this person's like how they truly feel okay really protecting their feelings at all costs okay but it feels like with them, the Hermit card being here, this person knows that ultimately they were playing themselves. There's a song called Playing, the, playing Yourself. Okay, I don't can't remember who um, the name of the rapper, but if you do know, put it in the comments down below. Playing Yourself, okay? Essentially, they've been playing themselves because this person wants to attract you, okay? But then essentially still having a guard and it's the, the message is saying you can't attract what you want if you're then still being still have this strong guard okay so what we're already getting come that's coming through it feels very much like this person is realizing their their what they've been doing wrong again that's that sun energy is very strong if you look carefully that sun or the sun energy or the sunflower it looks like an eye like someone is like seeing their ways seeing their habits they want the ten of pentacles they want they want the ten of pentacles but then at the same time there's this energy like they're still moving like in this kind of single energy and the message the message that's coming through is saying this is your guard energy that you need to let go of. Look at this. Look at this. Ay, 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 ay. The Eight of Swords. This is all them. This is all them trapped in their own thoughts, which can easily be released, easy can be let go. Just shifting, again, shifting the mindset. Okay, learning from those lessons. So let's pull out a Jamaican proverb and see what message wants to come out for the collective. Okay, reveal the message that resonates with this reading. Reveal the message that resonates with this reading. Reveal the message that resonates with this reading. Okay, we have two. Look at this competition. Puss and dog not have the same luck. Puss and dog not have the same luck. So puss and dog. So a cat, a pussy cat and a dog do not have the same luck. A pussy cat and a dog do not have the same luck. Okay? This is all about this energy of like competition. Okay? Um, lack of fairness can impact the situation um, we have nepotism but in this context we see that strong energy of seeing love like it's a game trying to compete for one's attention trying to see who can out outlive or outlong um, saying how they truly feel 
and the message here is saying no you can't operate like this when you are trying to attract what you genuinely want because then this can result to looking back and being in reflection going I wish I did this I wish I said how I truly feel about Jane I wish I said how I truly feel about John and this is the strong energy that's coming through we have John Crow never make house till rain come so the John Crow the crow bird never makes a house till rain come so John Crow John Crow never make house until rain come John Crow never make house until rain come okay so this is the energy about not putting those seeds in place okay so for a rainy day or thinking about right I might be doing all these kind of things but have I really thought it through is this really working out for me okay so save and invest for a rainy day and what we see here that this person hasn't really put those seeds in place to think you know what I'm attracted to Jane I need to make it clear that this is how I feel about Jane okay put all my, even though it's like a, yeah I might not want to put all my eggs in one basket but I'm making clear I'm putting my egg in your basket Jane ay, 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 ay. <laughs> This is where number two falls because it's that balance, it's that making that choice, it's that making that option, being clear with what you truly want, okay? Being clear with what you truly want. So we're going to have a look at the how do they truly feel deck. How do they truly feel deck and see what messages comes to mind, okay when what they what they tell their friends okay and what do they tell their friends and it feels very much with the moon being here what they may say out loud to the universe or just speak out loud okay into the atmosphere we want to see what wants to come through okay but before we do we're going to take a big sip of our beverages okay or the beverage of your choice i'm sipping on water today let us know what you are sipping on put it in the comments down below okay so i'm going to take a collective sip okay so we can get those intuitive gems rolling all right you ready let's take this sip ah brilliant nice and hydrated so we are going to have a look at this deck and see what messages want to come through on how do they truly feel because we see that there's a lot of hidden feelings so now we're going deep okay the song that's coming through is Jamiroquai deep underground we're going deeper underground we're going deeper underground now we're going deep we're going deep we're going deep 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 into those feelings baby deep into those feelings reveal those reveal the hermit reveal the reveal the the moon reveal those deep feelings what do they tell their friends what do they tell their friends what do they tell their friends oh look at that yes we didn't even have to sing our shuffle baby we're just focusing come bring let's pull in that energy okay if you're with me now come on man come on come on Come on, join your auntie's, join auntie self-love here at Wagwan Tarin T. Let's tap into that energy, okay? If you haven't already, click on that like button, subscribe, okay? Come and join the family and let's tune in. Let's channel together those deep feelings. We see that, that moon card. We're going to look specifically and I want you to take some time. This is really good as well as a great way to strengthen your intuition and to strengthen your own natural psychic abilities. Okay, let's just look into those, look into the moon card, look into the hermit card, focus, visualize. Okay, visualize what's going on here. Just visualize the moon card and the hermit card we're going to just take that moment to just visualize visualize the moon card visualize the hermit card 
and as you are visualizing the moon cards and as you are visualizing the hermit cards just take that time to think about your person think about your specific person and see the moon see the hermit as you think about your specific person the person on your mind let these messages flow let these messages be revealed thank you thank you in abundance we're going to we're going to see what wants to come through now we can i can feel that powerful strong energy even if you are watching it at another time or whatever the messages are timeless reveal these messages to the collective we've got some message look at this it's flowing it's flowing it's flowing it's flowing reveal those messages what do they tell their friends okay those deep hidden feelings or what do they tell speak to the atmosphere about you reveal those feelings reveal those feelings reveal those deep feelings last shuffle thank you look at all of those messages coming through collective let's have a good look at what has come through okay again these are all think messages when they think of you it could be what they say to others what they tell their friends what they tell family and maybe what they speak out loud when they are by themselves okay we're exploring what they truly feel one has just fallen on the floor just quickly pick that one up okay right i honestly feel like i need to be honest about my past okay we're going to have a quick look at what they want us to know about their past okay let's have a quick look we're going to use their feelings for you deck let's see what what they want to tell you about their past Messages regarding their past, messages regarding their past, messages regarding their past, messages regarding their past. Any more? Thank you, we've got three. Waiting for you is the hardest thing I have ever done. If I had a second chance with you, I would do things differently. And I'm not ready to commit yet. We do see the nine of pentacles and that very much is that person who is single being free enjoying their time and and you know really successful in being themselves and may have achieved a lot okay but it can also give this energy of someone is now they've now acquired of all these quite all of these things the next step is once they've built that sense of security sense of stability within themselves is then to attract a partner who mirrors the same but it's still saying it's telling us that this person may have some issues around being in a committed relationship again this could be perhaps this person may have witnessed may have observed maybe they, perhaps they may have had some poor experiences when it comes to dating when it comes to relationships let's have another deeper look we're going to use these love messages oracle cards and see what wants to come through reveal the messages that want to come through reveal the messages that want to come through reveal the messages that want to come through oh we have quite a few here Ooh, last shuffle. Thank you. Look at that past lives come through. Oy, 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 oy. So we have distance. So there's definitely distance between you and this person. The separation you are experiencing is necessary to help the relationship grow. Again, this could be why we're seeing the hierophant here again about lessons. Okay, learning both perhaps both parties or this person has to learn to be emotionally secure in themselves to be able to then express themselves flu freely and flu fluently okay not feeling away not feeling trapped by their emotions or their feelings okay letting go not feeling that they need to constantly be in this tug of war okay 
we have past lives so you have known this person before it's a soulmate from a past lifetime so this could be someone from a past lifetime it could be someone that perhaps you have this could be someone again maybe if it's three months two two years four years five years six years you may have known this person okay or past lifetime be optimistic keep in mind that you create your reality you can't attract love with a negative mindset isn't this what we just said earlier about your mindset <laughs> third party situation other people may be interfering with this relationship and dimming its full potential perhaps this person may have people who may not have this person's best interests okay it could also be perhaps this person may have been cheated in the past, uh, may have been mistreated in the past, and this may have impacted them, their sense of security when it comes to trusting others. So perhaps there could be some trust issues here, okay? Scared to be, scared to be open, to be vulnerable again, okay? unrequited feelings there's not enough love to keep this relationship going in a healthy way and it feels like this is coming up because again the a sense of fear that could that could be holding this person back to feel like you know what if i convince myself because what we can see from what we saw earlier with the knight of cups <sighs> There's, it's really showing us a conflict energy. There's a strong conflict energy going on. Stay optimistic. Positive thinking and faith will bring romance into your life. So it feels like there's a strong message here. Whether there's a cross watcher watching for you, because it feels like there's a strong cross watcher watching also. By staying positive, by speaking into existence what you do want rather than what you don't want can help you attract what you truly want and desire. Speak into existence as if it is here already. We have magnetic connection. There's a very strong, look at this, there's a very strong pull and intensity that draws you to this person and this person may feel the same as well. Letting go. If someone leaves you confused, more than comforted, you need to reassess their access to you. And this is very important, collective, okay? Because what we said earlier about this energy of like conflict, confusion, if someone is making you feel like this, you know, ultimately you have to know this is where now it calls on our self worth. And this is a message for us all. Okay, collective, this is a message for us all. If, it, if, the, if you've had more occasions where you have left feeling confused with this person, it ultimately is about trusting yourself, knowing that you deserve m m better, knowing that you are worthy of someone treating you with love and respect, valuing you, prioritizing you. Okay, this, this is a song. Um, Oh, I think it's Savannah, okay, could be wrong, and it's her take on Bobby, what, um, what you won't do for love, and, um, and it goes something like, what you, uh, what you won't do, a next man will, so what you won't do, a next man will, and it's always about, you know, you believing in yourself, knowing that you deserve you deserve abundance. We all deserve abundance. So let's go back to these reads before we come to a close. I truly feel like you're the one I've been waiting for. I truly feel like our relationship is growing stronger every day. Again, take the messages that resonate and leave the rest. I honestly feel like I need time to heal before I can fully commit I truly feel like I'm falling in love with you. Do you see these kind of like mixed bag of emotions coming through? I truly feel scared of losing you. 
I honestly feel jealous when I see you with other people. I truly feel like we were meant to be together. The song that's coming through, Mariah Carey, We Belong Together. I honestly feel excited about our future together. I honestly feel grateful for your patience and understanding. Didn't we say this energy earlier about taking time to understand one another with the five of wands? I truly feel confused about where we stand right now. I truly feel like I'm not good enough for you sometimes. Here we go. Look at those deep feelings coming through. Those mindsets, okay? Self-sabotaging mindsets coming through. I truly feel hesitant because of past relationships. Look at this. We're, we're getting to that nooks and cranny now. I truly feel blessed to have you in my life. I truly feel like I'm ready to take the next step with you. I truly feel like I can't imagine my life without you. I truly feel like we need to spend more quality time together. I truly feel like I found my soulmate in you. Again, we have more than one soulmate, so you know, take what resonates leave the rest but if you now feel like you don't want to take this path you know again we always have that choice that decision to make okay but ultimately you've got to make the right choices decisions for you okay as well as focus on your mindset being positive and acting and speaking into existence as if you have the things that you desire already right now I truly feel lucky to have found someone like you. I truly feel like you're my greatest adventure. I truly feel like I'm learning so much from you. I honestly feel like I'm not ready for a serious commitment yet. I truly feel like we need to spend more quality time for this more quality time and I truly feel like you are my safe haven you see all these messages coming through collective so we are going to leave you with a surrender oracle let's see what needs to be surrendered here okay so we're just gonna have a quick look and see what needs to be surrendered we're gonna channel that surrender message to come through for the collective what needs to be surrendered here because we can see a lot of conflicts with this person's emotions this person it's like they go very much hot and cold very much hot and cold let's see what needs to be surrendered here reveal the message the collective needs to see right now thank you we have surrender to passion Get out of your head and fit. Look at this. Oy, 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 oy. Get out of your head. Feel the fire in your belly. Focus on the people or activities that ignite your passion and let it flow. Look at that. Just let it flow. You hear that? It feels, this read feels very much like there. It's a very strong, heavy crush watcher like there could be a john out there or a jane out there who has an interest in wanting to know more about their love interests okay so again this the messages are timeless take the messages that resonate and leave the rest i say god i say god is jamaican pat when it simply means this is how it goes okay and this is how it goes around here we're taking the messages that resonate and leave the rest but be sure to look good feel good if you haven't already please like and subscribe hit that like button hit that subscribe button okay and if you feel drawn to have a look at power one or power three you feel free to do so but be sure to look good feel good keep sipping 
Okay, and we'll see you on the next one. Wa guan. Wa guan, people. Wa guan, tea sippers. Wa guan, mid generals. So we have pile three, and we are exploring what do they tell their friends about you okay so we're going to see what wants to come through so if you are new here welcome welcome big up yourselves every time to our subscribers big up big up big up big up every time much love and blessings to you all so click on that like button and press subscribe if you haven't done so already okay come and join the love and light family and let's gather those intuitive gems together let's connect and gather those intuitive gems together okay so we're on pile three now if you feel drawn to having a look at pile one or pile two feel free to do so in Power Free, we're exploring those juicy, juicy, intuitive gems that want to come through, okay? So far, there's been like this strong theme about hidden feelings, okay, attached to what they may say to their friends, or it could also be what they may say out loud or like out in the air or to the universe, okay? So we're going to see what wants to come through for Power Free. So I hope you've got a beverage of your choice something to keep you staying hydrated because it is hot in these streets okay i'm sipping on some water so let us know in the comments down below what you are sipping on and we may see some occurrences of the energy of free in the pile free reading now the energy of free represents the energy of expansion growth development so we're going to see if any of those kind of themes come through in pile free read okay so let's see wa guan and wa guan is jamaican pat one it simply means what is going on so let's have a look we have the justice card so we have a strong libra energy here what do they tell their friends this is very much feels like this person may tell their friends or there's an energy of wanting to seek a balance with you okay it feels like there's an energy of wanting to be 50 50 in terms of opening up sharing communicating perhaps it could be also they might be even telling their friends this is what they want to they want to have a union they want to have a connection where they can feel comfortable okay to share to express to be themselves okay perhaps you could be a libra or this person you may be dealing with may have libra in their chart we also have the eight of pentacles so this is very much an earthy energy think of the virgo the capricorn and the taurus okay now seeing the justice cards and the eight of one the eight of I'm going to say the eight of wanticles the eight of pentacles being here <laughs> okay perhaps this person has a strong drive and energy of wanting to work things out this could perhaps be someone that you're in separation with perhaps this could be someone who is where it's a current love uh, or new love interest or someone from the past it feels like there's a strong energy of wanting to put things right someone wants to work things out because we have the seven of pentacles so this is very much kind of giving and a strong it feels like there's a strong past energy here okay so seeing these three cards here it feels like there could be someone who's contemplating looking at things and probably thinking you know what i perhaps now in hindsight i could have dealt with these i could have dealt with the matter differently perhaps it could have been it feels like there's something very strong and significant about the last time they saw you the last time they saw you okay yeah so we're just gonna pull out this quick deck and see if there's anything that comes out okay but with the justice card being here we're gonna take it to Katara school at the moment okay at Wagwan Tarantee it feels like 
someone has come to a realization that they could have done more they could have done more to carry this union to make to develop this union more do you see how that energy of free is coming through already it feels like someone is now perhaps there may have been some years that's gone by between you and this person and it feels like there's a level of maturity this person is now seeing and thinking you know what I want to do better I want to be better and I want to attract Jane or John into my life I see where I did wrong now I can see what I can do I can do to put things right with that seven of pentacles looking and it could be also looking at those past memories and still wanting hoping that there could be still like a, a second chance okay someone with the eight of pentacles is taking that time to put in the work to be disciplined to to focus on the like being more positive letting go of any self-sabotaging energy that may have affected them in the past it also feels like they're taking the time to be more reflective more understanding this energy was also very present in pile two so do have a look at pile two okay so we've got this deck here we're just going to see what wants to come through in regards to the messages that are here for pile three so what do they tell their friends? What do they tell their friends? What do they tell their friends? This is what we're exploring. But we want to see if there's anything that's significant regarding the last time they saw you, the last time they saw you, the last time they interacted with you. Reveal any messages that want to come through, okay? Any messages that want to come through regarding the last time they saw you, the last time they saw you. The last time they interacted with you, the last time they engaged with you, we have quite a few. Any more? Any more? Last shuffle. Okay. Thank you. We've got quite a few. If you hear that, that's just letting you know there's downloads here and it's a way of how I connect okay bringing some of that Jamaican flavor into the mix okay so we've got quite a few messages here collective now we're just looking specifically on the last time they saw you now there could be something significant about eyes here it doesn't have to be green eyes but it could be something significant about looking into your eyes okay here that frames here that frames his face like a work of art oh la la so there's strong attractive energy going on here a captivating scent that lingers long after he's gone ooh wee i see you i see you looking at me and i know you're captivated by the way, my well-defined jawline adds a touch of rugged charm. So, put it in the comments down below. Who's been noticing that jawline? Who's been noticing those defined... It feels like this, is some, this person could be very toned, very f toned physique. It could be something very attractive in their jawline. We have grey hair. Now, if it's not grey hair, it could be something significant about their hair colour. Okay? I see you, I see you looking at me, and I know you are intrigued, look at this, it's come back again, my to by, by a toned athletic physique that reflects a vitality we can share, ooh la la, we have youthful, here that seems to carry the essence of nature, medium skin, tattoos a captivating laughter that brightens up any room a presence that draws you in making you feel at ease i see you looking at me and i know my confident and relaxed posture makes you feel at ease in my presence 
hands that move with grace and purpose. We have grey eyes. So again, something significant about eyes. Olive skin. So it's, again, this could be something to do with some this person's skin complexion. Take what resonates and leave the rest. I see you looking at me and I know my intense and expressive eyes. You see? Look at this. Oy, 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 oy. My intense and expressive eyes have caught your attention, communicating a depth you want to explore. Ooh la la. Athletic. I see you looking at me and I know you're enticed by the depth of my voice, resonating with every word I speak to you. Ooh la la. We have wavy hair, so something significant about hair, because hair has come quite a few times in the in the last couple of cards. We've got curly hair, and we have facial hair. So there's some strong, significant energies going on about the last time they saw you. So let's pull out a Jamaican proverb, and let's see what. Jamaican proverb wants to come through that is significant and resonates with what's going on here for pile three. Message for pile pile three, please. Can we have one message, please? We got one message. Now this came through, I believe it was for pile two. The John Crow never makes a house until rain come. The John Crow. The crow excuse me. The crow bird never makes a house until rain comes. So in the Jamaican style, the drunk crow never make a house until rain come. Okay, so it never makes a house. Okay, Jamaicans don't really pronounce the H for house. <laughs> but they never make a house until rain come. So this is telling us, this is kind of giving us very much this energy of the justice card. That this person may have taken something for granted and now they want to work things out. Now they want to come towards you and what what wants to come through? They want to come towards you in a better fashion, a better attitude, a better mindset. They want to work things out. They may have looked now and realized their wrongs. It feels like there's a strong energy of someone realizing their wrongs, wanting to come towards you. And put things right. It feels like perhaps this person may have some feelings of shame and guilt around the decisions they made and realize that it has impacted the connection. Okay, put it in the comments down below. Let us know what's going on. Save and invest for a rainy day. So perhaps this person may have moved quite reckless. Perhaps they could have been. It feels like maybe you've moved in a way feeling like you were always going to be an option that was there, that they could always have and always choose. And perhaps you draw your energy away and this person can feel it and now is realising, wow, you know what, I made a big blunder here. I made a mistake. I made a mistake. Now... We have quite a few cards on the deck. So we're going to have a look at the situation. Love deck. Because we, we are looking at what do they tell their friends. But we're kind of we're also kind of looking into those deep because you know what? Sometimes what we get with what do they tell their friends, sometimes they might say what it feels like this person is may say what they want their friends to hear like but we're also looking at those deeper feelings okay so reveal the situations that are coming through in this pile for pile three reveal those messages coming free coming through what do they tell their friends we have teddy bear interested in you blooming romance flirting want to date is there anything else Paradise, happiness and joy, playfulness, enjoying one each other, honeymoon phase, twin flames, 
look at this twin flame so we did mention the energy of twin flames in pile one i think so do have a look in pile one and essentially it's that soulmate energy where the soul is kind of split in two and both parties have to kind of do their healing okay before they can come and reunite the idea is that you may you meet one another in this lifetime and then go and have to do your work to reunite okay so unit union and duality complement polar opposites we can kind of get a little clue with the justice card and if you look carefully at those scales here okay so we're going to also take the time for you to connect with your intuition so if you haven't already joined our community joined our family what better way to join right now click on that like button click on that subscribe button let's connect together let's bring in our strong intuitive energy so we can see what's going on let's see wa guan okay so now we can we've kind of seen what they may be telling their friends and telling their family okay now let's go into some of those deep 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 messages that want to come through on things that they might not be telling but they might be thinking there might be some deep hidden feelings here so we're going to just tap into your energy tapping into your energy tap into your energy okay let's come together as a collective channel those messages the collective need to see okay about those hidden feelings that want to come through it could be hidden feelings that they haven't fully revealed reveal those he feelings thank you thank you reveal those feelings let's see what wants to come through oh we've got quite a few feelings coming through look at that you see, see look do you see right last shuffle one tried to come through okay thank you oy, 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 oy. look at those feelings so we had some of the feelings that they were going to they they wanted to say or say to their friends okay what they tell their friends now we asked let's see those deeper feelings now look what has come through we have engagement ring so higher commitment eternity partnership and union competition love unconditional love self-love and wholeness affection and attraction selflessness self-indulgence self-worth and value time to heal doing that shadow work self-appreciation shadow work is essentially looking into oneself you know we have the things that we find positive about ourselves and the things that are that we may look at, at the negatives or self-sabotaging okay working on those self-sabotaging okay recognizing it so it doesn't become a hindrance to us we have shock sudden change shocking news surprise and epiphany transformation so this is essentially the tower now this tells us that there has been some kind of realization some kind of awakening of some sort that this person has now realized that perhaps they did take you for granted perhaps they realized that you know they may have put you on the back burner perhaps may not have given you uh, been always been clear or consistent with how they communicate so perhaps you may have felt sometimes confused hot and cold moments with this person but it feels like how this person may have treated you it's now they're like they're feeling it now perhaps you have taken your energy away perhaps you have withdrawn yourself perhaps this could be why they're talking and saying you know what they realize that they realize their wrongs they realize that perhaps you could have been that person the whole time there's a there's a saying about the stone that the the mason refused is the cornerstone okay the stone that the mason refused or the builder refused is the cornerstone and this this is essentially like if we look at if we go back to that seven of pentacles this person may have overlooked 
overlooked, may have overlooked you, only to realize that you was essentially the diamond in the dirt, okay? The runner, look at this, the runner. So fear of intimacy. So this, there, there's it. This is kind of telling us there has been some hot and cold energy going on with this person. Sometimes it feels like you're moving into green pastures, and then it's kind of left feeling like, okay, what's going on here? Okay, so running away, intensity, and letting go, turmoil, and fleeting. The sword and the rose, clarity and truth. Revela revelations honor and protection determination so that's really giving us that ace of swords like some there's a strong energy of clarity here get back out there meeting someone new setting a date date online it feels like this person may be trying to trying to see if you're still available perhaps they could be trying to if there is any mutual friends, any mutual connections, they could be trying to explore. Perhaps this person could also be trying to see if you are single and if you are available. It could also be that this person is trying to wonder if you still have feelings here. Again, it's always about trusting your intuition and using your discernment every time we have love call. So expressing love, messages of love, thinking of you and in and informing you so it does feel like this person may want to make a call make amends now we do have we are currently in that energy of the mercury retrograde from around the 5th of august to the 29th of august and we also have the lion oh i forgot the name of the the 888 portal that's it the the 888 portal okay or the 8 port the, the 88 portal okay so there's a lot of energy going on at the minute okay now this person may want to make amends okay we always say be wary about who wants to kind of make contact during the mercury retrograde but it feels like there's a strong energy of someone wanting to reconcile again it's all about trusting your intuition, asking yourself what you truly want and desire, okay? Well, always use your discernment. We have picture. So this is very much telling us that this person has been looking at your pictures, has been maybe trying to look online or if you're on social media or, or some sort or looking at any past pictures of you. We have the mask. Look at this. This is the mask. Hiding true feelings, pretending, and delude, gaslight, and personify. So this is very much giving this energy that this person may have in the past. You know, given that hot and cold, sometimes you feel like they are like opening up, and then it's like you're back to this kind of energy of square one, not knowing. So there, it feels like this. There has been a very much like an inconsistent energy with this person. But then we have this energy of like the four of ones, this person wanting abundance, okay? And perhaps this could be why we're seeing the eight of pentacles. This person wants to work on their energy. They want to tap into more of a positive mindset they, so they can attract the things that they truly do want. And it does feel like what they do want to attract is you. Again, you got about it's about trusting your intuition and letting that guide you, okay? So we're going to have a look into their higher self let's see what their higher self wants you to know right now messages from their higher self messages from their higher self messages from their higher self let's see let's see what they want oh we've got quite a few messages from their higher self what do they tell their friends what do they tell their, their friends but also what kind of messages do they want you to know okay messages from their higher self okay last shuffle Thank you. Right, I hope you are staying hydrated. It is very hot over here. So let us know if you are feeling the heat. Okay, making sure you are staying hydrated. So we've got freckles. This person may have freckles or you may have freckles. 
okay? I find myself thinking about you when doing everyday tasks. So you might be feeling their energy, okay? This person feels like they are trying to... It feels like they may at times focus very heavily on you. Right, we've got a divine masculine to the divine feminine. I want this love to work just like you do. So you see that eight of pentacles energy coming through. I can't wait to see where our journey together takes us. You bring out a side of me that I didn't know existed. You have a unique ability to make my problems disappear with a single glance. We have artistic and creative minded. We have movie buff and cinephile. Take the messages that resonate and leave the rest. Outdoor adventurer. We have avid traveler. Distinctive tattoos or there could be something distinctive. Whether it could be like um, something on their skin, a piercing um, or maybe some distinctive physical features. I appreciate the way you look at me like I'm the only one in the room when I have something to say. I wish I could express how much you mean to me. It's like, well, say it. Why don't you just say it? Be comfortable in expressing how you feel. Your energy alone brings me a sense of calm and comfort. We have alluring scents. Put it in the comments down below if there's any particular scent that comes to mind when you think of this person. All right. So we're going to continue on how do they honestly feel about you. Okay. But we're going to look at the no. We're going to have a look at the no communication deck. Because it feels very much like what we're seeing here is this person, it feels like there's a hot and cold energy here. And it feels like that is in conflict with the energy of the free. Again, free represents the energy of growth and development. Someone is focused heavily on how they feel. They see you as this person that they want to grow and expand with. However, what we can see that there are some deep hidden feelings, there's also some feelings of self-sabotage. It could be rooted maybe from their past, their inner child, okay, of doubting themselves and maybe having some kind of fear around being in a connection or um, in a relationship. So we're going to have a look now and look at those no contact because it does also feel like perhaps this person there may be no contact at this time or very limited contact so we're going to have a look at this deck but before we do we're going to take a collective sip of water or of tea or a beverage of your choice okay before we gather those juicy juicy intuitive germs and see what wants to come through okay so i've got my water here Okay, we're going to take a collective sip. Okay, so you ready? Let's take that sip together. All right. So if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. We're going to channel that, can, that intuitive energy that wants to come through. We're channeling with you, collective and the messages are timeless. So regardless of when you watch this, when you view this, okay, the messages are timeless. So we're going to channel, channel with me, okay? Let's get all of our intuitive energy in gear. And let's see what wants to come through, okay? Let's shuffle. Reveal the messages the collective need to see right now. So we are exploring what do they tell their friends about you, but we want to see now deeper what kind of messages and how they deeply feel. Okay, if there's been some limited contact, um, some mixed feelings about how they feel, okay, uh, perhaps they're not communicating it clearly with the collective or with their friends. Let's see what wants to come through. 
and you can see there's quite a lot of messages coming through collective lots of messages coming through now we're going to sing our shuffle baby to bring in some energy bring in some fire energy to just connect okay right uh, and some air we're bringing the air the fire the water and the earth energy right so it goes a bit like this shuffle baby shuffle baby yeah shuffle baby yeah shuffle baby yeah okay right you ready let's sing it together shuffle baby shuffle baby yeah shuffle baby yeah shuffle baby yeah. All right, reveal the messages the collective needs to see. Do you, do you see what's happening? It's like some of the messages are turning in, opening and coming out, turning in, coming out. And this is kind of reflective of what we've been seeing in the cards. Right, last shuffle. Look at that. Yes. Thank you. So we've got quite a few messages now so we can get into these juicy, juicy gems. Thank you, collective, for channeling with me okay we're also going to ask for the person the specific person or the person in your mind for their name to come to the center their name to come to the center so you know who this is that's really coming through in the reads i love you so much but i keep look at this Why, I, I, I. I love you so much, but I keep running from you. I don't understand why I do this. I'm lost. I don't know what to do. I'm afraid of hurting you. And it seems like they could be so afraid of hurting that eventually, because of their, this in-out action, that they are essentially kind of creating this kind of collateral damage. There is no one else thinking about you all day. No matter what happens, my heart will always belong to you. I have never loved anyone the way I love you. So there's some strong feelings here. I have never experienced this intense connection before. So it could be a strong soulmate connection here. Okay, I'm so in love with you. You are so perfect to me. I'm afraid of getting too serious as I've been hurt before. Perhaps this person may have been cheated on, may have been mistreated. And it's almost like they are tainting everybody with the same brush. Even though they are trying not to. But it, it, feels, like they could, it feels like this person may have had some unhealed issues with somebody else and may have brought those same unhealed issues into their connections okay i'm sorry for messing everything up you deserve so much more i'm always here for you it feels like even though i'm always here for you like this person doesn't want to let you go so even if it's like having you in some kind of like friendship way but deep down they know that they want more and essentially no it's not fair to then because then look this is this kind of scale and it feels like this kind of case of like what's coming through that's saying you can't have your cake and eat it i hurt myself by letting you go look at this i hurt myself by letting you go I'm learning a spiritual lesson. Yeah. I remember how we used to laugh and talk for hours about everything. I miss you. You are so beautiful inside and out. All I am thinking about right now is how attracted to you I am. So how attracted I am to you. I hate this distance between us. It doesn't feel good. 
So there's definitely some strong distance energy going on here. I hope to have a future with you one day. And I hide, I hide my true desires. We are seeing that, that they are hiding their true desires. What we're going to do before we come to a close collective, we're going to look into those late night thoughts. Okay, we looked into the last time they saw you. We looked into some no contact uh, messages. We looked into their high self. And because there's a strong sense of spiritual connection energy, we're going to have a look at the, the last, their late night thoughts. Let's see what, what, what comes through in those subconscious. Okay, let's see what those messages come through. Okay, even though it's about what do they tell their friends, but we can see from the messages that's coming through that there's a strong sense of like a spiritual energy here. There's a strong sense of this person having some deep feelings. It feels like these feelings they do not reveal to their friends. So we're going to have a look and see what wants to come through for the power three or power three. Okay, reveal the messages the collective needs to see. Reveal the messages the collective needs to see about this person, this specific person, okay, that has these feelings for them. Why are they feeling like this? Why are they feeling like this? Why are they feeling like this? Why are they feeling this like this? Last shuffle. Last shuffle. Last shuffle. Thank you. And I hope you are staying hydrated because it is hot in these streets as we gather these intuitive gems. Oy, 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 oy. Their kisses are like a symphony of desire, leaving me wanting more. Oh la la. I find myself daydreaming about the way their fingers delicately trace patterns on my back. Oh la la. We're keeping it clean and classy. Their touch is a tender caress that soothes my soul and ignites my desire. There's a song coming through, Fire and Fire and Desire by Rick James and Tina Marie. The last time I look at this, their last is this strong hit energy about the last time they saw you. So the last time I saw them, their eyes were filled with longing, matching the desire in my heart. The way they wear their elegant dress, okay, it could be an outfit you wore, something significant, makes me feel like I am in the presence of a goddess. The way they hold my hands, even in the darkness, makes me feel safe and cherished. Their warm embrace is like I'm wrapped in a blanket of love. Wrapped in a world of tenderness. Their outfit accentuates their attractive features in all the right ways, leaving me entranced. So this person has the deep hot for you. It's, this person has the hots for you. This person has the hots for you. But it feels like there's a deep sense of fear around trust. It feels like this person has some trust issues here. Okay. The way they move when they dance is like poetry in motion. I love to see it. The way they trace their fingers along my skin sends tingles down my side, spine. Okay, so this, we can kind of tell here this person has, it's like they have this thing about physical touch. It could be their love language. Okay. In their eyes, I see a reflection of love that transcends the physical realm. So they definitely feel like there's a strong spiritual connection here. Okay. Their whispers in the darkness makes my heart race and my soul tremble. Ooh la la. So we're going to leave you with a couple of messages from their feelings for you deck and see what kind of messages want to come through okay so can we reveal those deep feelings those deep messages for the collective okay how do they truly feel so how do they truly feel about the collective 
how do they truly feel we have the the justice card we have the seven of pentacles we have the eight of pentacles okay perhaps there could have been something to do with money as well being here maybe this person was trying to work on their money or work on their career perhaps this person may have not it feels like maybe this person is might like in terms of multitasking it's like they focus on the energies where they are strong at so maybe their work and career and thinking that they will then put the love on the back burner but then realize maybe that wasn't the, the greatest of ideas um and now is trying to see how the is it too late to try and manifest you are you still interested in them okay perhaps this person has excelled in their career but they may be very good at, do, at excelling in their career but not so great when it comes to excelling in their love life last shuffle last shuffle okay okay so we've got a couple of more messages now that has really tried to come through looking at all these intuitive gems right so we have i'm ready to fight for us i can't help but regret my actions you are my safe place the thought of losing you terrifies me i'm sorry for my mistakes you're the missing piece of my heart. You, your love has left an indelible mark on my heart. You were my everything and now you are gone. Okay, the song that's coming through is Michael Jackson or the Jacksons. Um, if you do know it, put it in the comments down below. Um, she's out of my life. Do I ever cross your mind? I miss the sounds of your laugh. You're the reason I want to become a better person. Now we always talk, okay, we always, always move in the realms of self-love. This person has to want to be a better person for themselves so they can then attract and mirror that same energy. Every song I hear reminds me of you. We have had a few songs come through and this is, this is telling us there's def, there could be something significant. Maybe there's a shared song. Maybe there's um, a song, a particular song that they listen to. Okay. To remind themselves of you. You are the person I compare everyone else to. Look at this. Your love changed me for the better. I wish your voice, I miss your voice whispering sweet nothings in my ear. I wish we could relive our happiest moments. I need more time to figure things out. And this is the kind of the, this is kind of what we've seen with this, this justice card. Like how much time is time, more time? And do you, are you... Are you prepared to wait? And this is where we can say, you know what? Do you. Do you, boo. Do you, boo. Do you, boo. Trust your intuition and use your discernment. If I had a second chance, I would do things differently. I still remember the taste of your lips. Look at this. Ooh, la, la. I'm sorry for hurting you. I've been trying to move on, but it is not working. You are the one who makes my heart skip a beat. Okay. I'm sorry if I ever took you for granted. It feels like, even though we're exploring what do they tell their friends, it feels like this person really wants to... They, it's all, perhaps they could even be having conversations saying, let's, can I act it out like... If, if I was in front of Jane right now, how I would approach Jane, how I would talk to her, how would I, how would I would communicate, make them understand me? Can I practice with you? Can I, uh, or in front of a wall or in front of a mirror? 
Seeing you happy makes me happy too, even if it's not with me. I'm sorry for not being able to give you what you deserved. It feels like this person knows that they've got some work to do. It could it definitely feels like there's some work, some kind of like trapped feelings and emotions around the past. Perhaps again being mistreated, uh, may have been like treated by or cheated on, or so it feels like some kind of third party going on as well. And this may have resulted to this person tainting everybody with the same brush. Okay, there could be some trust issues here. This person could also be looking at those missed opportunities they had with you also. You are the only one who understood me completely. And perhaps you, again, if you're watching this, you know, you are more on the intuitively inclined tea sippers. And perhaps they can sense that. Perhaps you may have made this person nervous at times because it feels like they felt that you could read them. Your absence is a constant reminder of what I lost. And you are the one I want to come home to. Do you see all this kind of like mixed feelings? Collective, do you have a look at power one and power two? Because there's definitely going to be some messages that will resonate. Okay. But take the messages that resonate and leave the rest. We have to say it with power. Leave the rest. I saw it go. I saw it go, darling. I saw it go now. I saw it go means in Jamaican Patwa, this is how it goes. I saw it go. Just take what resonates and leave. Leave the rest. Okay. All right, tea sippers. But if, if you feel free, because this is what we like to do. It's about empowering you, strengthening your intuition, and so that you can use your discernment. Okay. Tapping into that energy of self-love, loving yourself from head to toe. But we, we at, you know, at Wagwan Taran Tea, we like to be tea sippers and become you know be intuitively inclined take those messages resonate learn a bit of tarot while we're at it and some jamaican proverbs and some oracle cards yeah baby yeah baby so okay if you haven't done so already please like subscribe share and comment okay love to engage with you all and be sure to look good feel good Stay hydrated in these streets because it's hot, baby. And we will see you on the next one. So, wah, guan.